let's go over what we have in the room right now. Um, in the upper left-hand corner, this is going forward. We're not changing these markets. These markets are going to stay static in the room. We're showing three uh, markets in the room going forward with the signals. Let's go to the upper left so we make sure we're on the same page and we have this under the video so you can replay it if you need to. In the upper left-hand corner, I got the NQ. I'm trading it off of a 125.25 Rinko. Inside of that Rinko, uh, we are running our new algo. Uh, it is showing the first wave toggle switch, the slingshot toggle switch, and the failure toggle switch. So uh, once this gets released to all you traders, uh, you have an option of just selecting which one that you want specifically to only come up with an arrow. Once the arrow fires, you have an alert system that will fire off on your speakers. Um, or you can have them all checked. I have the Momo unchecked because traders just wanted to see the first wave slingshot and failure when I took a vote in the room. But if you just want to see the failure, you would just toggle failure and it only show failure trades and so on. But as far as the three charts, the NQ, the large ES chart, and the large um, crew chart, it will show the failure uh, automatically for you on arrows of fire the slingshot, and the first wave. So that's the upper left is the NQ. The bottom is the CL uh, crude oil. Uh, crude oil I have as a 125.25. Going forward, that will be saved as a template. On both these charts, I have the supply demand lines checked. Uh, I like to see arrows fire on a break retest of those because that's old supply and uh, demand, meaning that's where you're going to see a lot of uh, support and resistance come off of. I like to see those arrows fire there. Uh, the middle chart is my crude, I mean my um, S&P chart. Uh, this is the 12020 uh, S&P chart. Uh, same thing, just like crude oil and NQ. I have the toggle switches to fire the arrows going forward on the first wave, slingshot, and the failure. And then the right chart is failures only. This is my 11313. Had some real big trades yesterday. We'll go over here on this video. Uh, the 113.13, big trades and the failure. I only have the failure selected because I don't want a lot of arrows firing on this. Um, some of you got, you know I like the combo from a failure to a slingshot. Uh, you can do that if you want that combo on your own charts. I put the failure on there only because I just want to see, I want to show you when the arrows fired. Like yesterday, it caught some nice big moves live in the in the room on the ES. So this, and then we have our market profile to the right, and this is where it has your high value, low value uh, from a balanced market when you're inside. Now we're into an imbalanced market before news comes out in six minutes. So I'm looking for a push down in the market would be nice, and we start firing some of these trades to uh, enter in the direction of the market profile. Um, if we do get back inside a profile, uh, with uh, the news, then our target would be high value. I'll go over that in a second. So that's what we're doing going forward. Let's take a look at yesterday's action while I'm doing this video. Um, so yesterday, uh, let's just look at uh, yesterday's uh, trade setups all day. So yesterday, we, we start out with a, 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 a slingshot right away. Uh, so we had a slingshot, the arrow fired. These are where they fired live yesterday, slingshot. Slingshot, the arrow fire there, slingshot, slingshot. The failure was a big one yesterday. Uh, yesterday, that fired live right in the room, uh, right at that low of that bar, and it just fell apart. I mean, that was a 75 potential short all the way down to almost, what, 49 and a half, 25 S&P points. Then we rolled into a slingshot, slingshot. Got another failure. This one was not as robust, but still productive. 63 and three quarters to what 68 and a quarter and then this is the combo I keep talking about I love when a failure comes up and then we roll it right into a slingshot the slingshot had a lot of big movement to it because it retested my uh, my demand line my demand line uh, I love when it breaks retests these demand lines because this is where the market really moved up hard or down before and then the market exploded from uh, a 61 potential all the way up uh, up to what 81 for 20 SP points. Then we finish with the slingshot. 
So you can see a very productive day with the arrows firing yesterday on the 120.20. Uh, very productive on the ES20 chart. We'll look for the same type of movement here this morning um, as we work through uh, the news. Uh, the last chart, I want to see the failure chart. Uh, the, this, this, uh, I already had the one this morning. Uh, this fired here. Uh, failures against a zone trend. Uh, catches the rolling position traders. 79 as high as uh, 85. Six S&P points. If you look at yesterday, uh, there's a failure uh, in the morning, but if you look at yesterday when it fired, uh, we had a beautiful failure trade that had an 11 o'clock. And this is the combo I keep talking about. I love the failure into the into the into um, on the smaller Renko size. This is a 113. But if you look at it, uh, this failure into the slingshot, I love, got above 80, down through my bull, thre bear, bull threshold of 40, and it just got cranked to the downside. So this failure worked really well. And then we had a failure before that that came live in the room also. Uh, so this one was a nice productive move that on the failure. I mean, it just look, it just got crushed uh, from my uh, small Renko size, 93 and three quarters, got into the 50s. Just a nice uh, move over 40 points potential. Uh, this failure had nice energy to it also. Uh, you had around 83 and a half. Uh, this fired live right there yesterday too, up to 20, 17 S&P points. And then we had um, another failure that happened uh, at 940 in the morning. And that had a little uh, movement, 98 and a half potential down to uh, 90 and a half. So that was eight S&P points, uh, 24 ticks. So we had some good movement and then we roll right into the slingshot for the downside. So this chart only shows uh, the 13 uh, Rinko, um, so uh, that will fire those today. All right, so that's the format we got going forward, guys. We got two minutes before the news. I'm going to go over some trade setups 